So I'm going to show you how to tie the frilling mill reel daddy. Um, it's a great pattern, stock fish, wild fish, still waters, rivers, it works everywhere. Um, so I'm going to show you how to tie it. So the hook we're going to use is a frilling mill 1160 in a size 10. So I've got one of those in the brush. Okay, so just attach some brown thread. And most of the fly is only tied in a fairly short piece of the hook, so that will probably do. Okay, so got one of these little phone tubes here. Just um, round, well, we sort of taper the end a little bit with this scissors. And then once you go there, just flash it with a lighter. And then just roll it around your fingers. Okay. Let's tie that in. About four or five quite tight turns of thread. And a few turns underneath. Just cut the four on top. And that's nice and secure. Right now I've um, pre-knotted some legs so just using six legs three on each side let's tie three in on the far side first and then just another three on this side my closest side waist and then we just um, apply a small piece of um, here's a dummy just at the back okay and we just use some hackle points for uh, for wings and um, so you could um, you could use anything that you've got really done ones, you could use grizzly ones, I'm just using some uh, sort of red brown Indian uh, cock cake hackles up to. So I generally want them just slightly shorter than, um, than the, the, the length of the body. So tie those in. Which nice and tight. And just remove the waist. It's a little bit more hairs here, darling. And then we just put a hackle on it. So again, I'm using a, uh, a brown Indian top hackle. You want it fairly long on this. Snap it off so I can tie in just a little, uh, little end piece of the stalk. It's about three turns. In one time. Let's catch that in. A few more secure turns and then just fold here press it back, just bind that down tightly. And then keeping the, the thread taut, just snap off the stalk. Just throw in a little uh, half inch now. Now you just bring this uh, foam tube over the top. I like to put it fairly tight. and then catch it in with about three or four nice tight turns. And then we just whip finish. So apply some super glue to the thread. Make sure everything's out of the way and a quick whip finish. Just 
move the waste on the thread and then just chop the gym down. So that's the fully mill wheel daddy. <laughs>